Tristan Thompson's dating life has made headlines over the years, and it's mostly only because of his high-profile relationship with Khloe Kardashian. So let's just take a look at it and see how they've changed over the years. Before I begin today's video, please like the video, subscribe to the channel, and hit the bell icon to stay notified for future uploads. During their sweltering Mexico vacation in September 2016, Kardashian and Thompson hit the beach. They made their first public appearance as a pair at Flo Rida's birthday bash at Live in Miami. Later that month, during an interview on Jimmy Kimmel Live in 2016, the Coco Collection designer talked about her affair with Thompson, sort of making the relationship public, you could say. The couple spent the holidays together in the last month of 2016. On Christmas, Thompson captioned a lovely photo of himself and Kardashian wearing matching fur coats. Shortly after, on New Year's Eve, they danced in each other's arms. Happy New Year! May you always be surrounded by the love you are deserving of. Kardashian captioned a touching photo of herself smiling in Thompson's embrace as he kisses her ear. In March of 2017, on an episode of Keeping Up with the Kardashians, the reality star introduced Thompson to her famous family at Kanye West's concert, and she recently expressed her wish to marry Thompson. Telling ES Magazine in April 2017 that she had never been in this type of love and would marry him if he proposed. I would love to have a family. We've talked about it. I know for a fact that he would be an impeccable father. She went on to say that the pair isn't in a hurry to start a family. I definitely want to be a mom, but I don't put the pressure on it. It's not like the clock is ticking. I feel in my soul it will happen. On December 20, 2017, the expectant mother finally revealed her pregnancy on Instagram, saying, My greatest dream realized. We are having a baby. On January of the following year, Kardashian uploaded a lovely selfie of herself kissing Thompson, the same day she announced she's officially six months pregnant. Later in January, following the loss of Chloe's dog Gabbana, Thompson sent Chloe a nice gift. She posted a photo on Instagram of a flower arrangement in the style of a gigantic paw print made of white and purple roses, with the caption, Thank you, baby, for being so thoughtful. This gorgeous arrangement brightened up my day. You are the sweetest, my love. Surprise, surprise, the couple also spent Valentine's together. When a woman is loved correctly, she becomes 10 times the woman she was before. Thank you, my love. She captioned an Instagram snap of them posing in front of a display of balloons spelling out, I love you. On March 4th, 2018, Chloe announced that she and her husband are expecting a girl and not a boy. Following her initial shock, she stated that they will be in love with their child regardless of gender. On March 10, 2018, Chloe celebrated her baby shower during a pink-themed celebration at Hotel Bel Air in Beverly Hills, California, with her beau by her side. The two posed for photos in front of a banner that read Baby Thompson, surrounded by pink balloons. She added a caption on a photo of them kissing. I am so blessed to be creating beautiful, monumental memories with such a wonderful man. I hope this year brings you all that you dream of. You will forever be my always. I love you, baby. On March 10th, the pair celebrated his birthday at a star-studded celebration at Beauty and Essex in Los Angeles. LeBron James, Kylie and Kendall Jenner, Kourtney Kardashian and her boyfriend, Younes Benjima, Kris Jenner, and Thompson's mother, Andrea Thompson, were among the guests. In March 2018, the reality star shared a photo from her maternity photo shoot, in which she wore sexy lingerie and flaunted her bare baby bump. Thompson, on the other hand, stripped down to his underwear and stood by her side. She wrote, I know I'm going to miss my belly so much once my daughter's here. I had to capture the beautiful process that is pregnancy so I can always look back at this time. In images and video acquired by the Daily Mail in April 2018, Thompson seemed to kiss another lady at a New York City club. When the news emerged, Kardashian was nine months pregnant. Later that day, TMZ revealed previously unseen video of the NBA player kissing and caressing two other women at a hookah lounge in Washington, D.C. in October 2017. Shocking as it may be, she has yet to comment publicly on the matter. Understandably so. Kardashian gave birth to her first child on April 12, 2018 in a Cleveland, Ohio hospital. 
The baby girl was born only a few days after it was revealed that Thompson had been cheating on her. When she found out, Kardashian was shell-shocked and over herself. Kardashian disclosed the name of their daughter four days after giving birth in the same month. Our little girl, True Thompson, has completely stolen our hearts and we are overwhelmed with love. Oh, and if you're enjoying the video, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel below, and don't forget to click the bell to get up-to-date notifications. After the NBA pro was discovered cheating, a source revealed in May 2018 that the twosome was totally back on. The reality TV star spoke out about her decision to stay with Thompson a month later. You have no knowledge of what goes on in our household or the enormous rebuilding this takes to even coexist. Surprisingly, Thompson was cited chatting and flirting with another girl again during a night out at LA's Warwick nightclub. They were incredibly sensual. He was squeezing her buttocks, say eyewitnesses. The claims were never addressed in public by the couple. On the November 2018 episode of Keeping Up with the Kardashians, the couple was forced to relive the April 2018 cheating scandal. Kardashian called Tristan a piece of shit and he also live tweeted the episode with fans. I was completely and utterly stunned. I can't believe I had to cope with this vile garbage in the hospital room. She sent out a tweet. Kardashian also defended her decision to let Thompson to stay in her hospital room as True is being born. Regardless of what Tristan did to me, I was never going to take that moment away from True or Tristan. She should not be punished for his actions. He is her father and they both deserve to love one another as deeply as they possibly can. Surprisingly, the couple spent Thanksgiving 2018 in Cleveland together. I'm so blessed, Thompson captioned a photo of himself embracing Kardashian and their daughter on Instagram. The couple called it quits 10 months after the NBA star was busted cheating. Their split only came days after the Keeping Up with the Kardashians actress spent Valentine's Day alone as Thompson was apparently flirting with ladies in a Los Angeles bar. In April 2019, two months after the Woods controversy, Kardashian and Thompson reconnected for their daughter's first birthday celebration. Fans learned that Thompson tried to kiss his ex before the party when the episode of Keeping Up with the Kardashians aired. In July, Chloe spoke about being single. I'm so good. I feel really happy and I'm spending so much time with my family, she told us at the time. We're working so much, but I like that I'm taking time for myself, and I think that I'm really good at being single. I enjoy it. I don't ever feel like I need a man to feel solid. I feel really good, so I'm enjoying spending time with True and my family. However, Thompson made news in the months following the Woods affair for writing romantic comments on Kardashian's Instagram posts. Kardashian, on the other hand, reportedly had no interest in reuniting with the athlete. Following the sighting of Thompson gifting Kardashian a diamond necklace in a December 2019 episode of KUWTK, Kardashian turned to Instagram to defend her decision to forgive Thompson for his previous transgressions. Life is short. We are all humans trying to figure out this thing called life. Yes, I'm allowed to feel hurt and pain. It would be unnatural for me to pretend as if I don't. Personally, I don't want to be carrying around a hateful heart. And on December 24th, the two reconnected during Kourtney Kardashian's traditional Kardashian family Christmas Eve celebration. A source commented exclusively on the one-year anniversary of Thompson and Woods' cheating scandal that the athlete and Kardashian were happy co-parenting True and had no plans to get back together. In an Instagram video provided by Jordan Clarkson, Thompson's former teammate, Kardashian and Thompson were seen looking cozy at their pal Savas Oguz's 30th birthday in June. And in August, multiple sources informed that the couple was back together and talked about their future. One insider added, Chloe would love to give True a sister because she is at the perfect age. In the same month, it was exclusively revealed that the couple was looking for a home together in Hidden Hills in Calabasas, California. Chloe and Tristan want to buy a house together, the insider added, adding that Tristan wants to show Chloe that he has changed and wants to make this permanent with a family home. Scott Disick was the first member of the Kardashian-Jenner family to publicly declare that the couple was back together in the same month of August. 
at RealTristan13 is a really fortunate man, Disick reacted to a photo of the Revenge Body Star on Instagram. The couple showed off at Kim Kardashian's 40th birthday celebration, which aired on Keeping Up With The Kardashians on October 21st. Thompson kissed Chloe on the cheek in the video when they posed for a shot in a photo booth, and after she won the two People's Choice Awards during the 2020 show, the athlete surprised the reality star with a congratulatory arrangement of pink flowers. The Kardashian family has all rallied around her with their support, according to The Insider. Chloe is keeping tough and attempting to go on despite her injuries, the source stated. Chloe was aware of the pregnancy before the news broke and it was very difficult for her to hear. Thompson announced that he was the father of Nichols' son via his Instagram story on January 3rd, 2022. He also offered a public apology to Kardashian at the time, writing, Chloe, you don't deserve this. You don't deserve the heartache and humiliation I have caused you. You don't deserve the way I have treated you over the years. My actions certainly have not lined up with the way I view you. I have the utmost respect and love for you, regardless of what you may think. Again, I am so incredibly sorry. So, there you have it, folks. Did you like today's video? Let me know in the comments below. With this, I'm going to wrap up this video. If you enjoyed it, please make sure to hit the like button and subscribe for more incredible videos. I hope to meet you guys again in the next video.